Hi, welcome back to my channel, Bruja Tarot. Today I'm doing week two for May 2020 for money and career, okay? This is a general uh, community collective rating, okay? Let's see what messages we have. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for week two for money and career in this reading. For the collective, for the community, in general, please give us clear messages for the second week of May for Money and Career 2020. Thank you. Let's see what we got here. Let's go with this one. Okay. All right. I'm going to lay five cards out. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. The bottom of the deck, the underlying issue is the six of swords. Okay. And the five of staves, the five of wands. All right. So, I think we're wanting to move on to more a more peaceful situation in terms of our money and career situation, right? That would make sense. Um, that's the underlying issue here. We we want to, you know, stop having battles and we want to move on to calmer waters with it. So, let's see what we got here. In the first position is the current financial situation that we're in this week, Okay. Current financial situation is the Seven of Staves, the Seven of Wands, all right? So with the Seven of Wands, we definitely feel like we have, you know, arrived at a better position, I would say, okay? Um, we, we have been battling things, but we're now in a position where uh, we're on top a little bit more, maybe feeling a little more confident, maybe feeling like we can win this battle, okay? That's what the Seven of Wands is about in this position. Now, in where new sources of income will come from is the King of Staves, okay? This is the King of Wands. So the new sources of income are going to come from creativity, okay? Expression, um, having something new to offer, okay? Um, offering that something new, um, expressing that something new in a very... Um, you know, mature, solid sort of way, okay? Um, that's where the new sources of income will come from. Let me see what the book has to say about this. All right, the King of Staves. It says, the King of Staves is attended by two maids of honor. One carries coral, an emblem of longevity and official promotion. Divinatory meanings, an honest and conscientious person, mature, wise, devoted, friendly, sympathetic, educated, a gentleman, okay? So our new sources of income are going to come from having and expressing those qualities, right? Being that honest individual who's devoted and wise, friendly, bringing out our educated side, being a gentleman, okay? Um, you know, or gentlewoman, but it's bringing out those qualities. And when we bring out those qualities, then that's where the new sources are going to come from, okay? Maybe we're being friendly to somebody and, you know, we have no idea that, you know, they have potential work or, uh, you know, a potential new business or customers that they can bring into your business, okay? That's where new sources of income are going to come from or perhaps from, you know, socializing with others um, in a very mature way, okay, in a very friendly way, all right? Let me, um, I'm going to shut the curtain real quick. Okay, um, next card up is the opportunities to consider, okay? The opportunities to consider is Six of Cups, okay? So the Six of Cups is traditionally um, something from the past, something nostalgic, um, perhaps somebody that you know, okay? Um, so maybe the opportunities you need to consider could be, you know, maybe other places that you've worked at before or maybe reaching out to people that you've worked with in the past, okay? 
um, or reaching out to somebody that you knew, um, you know, from your childhood even, or somebody that your family knows, okay? Um, somebody from your past, either childhood related or somebody that you've worked with before or reaching out to a company that you have been involved with in the past, okay? Um, I know sometimes people don't like to do that when they leave a company, they don't really like to go back, but you know, perhaps there's new, you know, it's in a position of new opportunities that you need to consider, okay, or opportunities to consider. Perhaps this whole company of yours has, you know, um, a job now that is more suited to your needs, okay? Perhaps it has a job now that is more, um, you know, uh, perhaps you, you have a different type of education now than you did back then, or you have a different type of skill set than you did back then. And so you want to consider these opportunities from something in your past. Okay. Let me see what the book has to say about this too. Yeah. So it says a drunken man juggles six cups, spilling their contents. The empty cups signify the loss of childhood, joy, and pleasure. Divinatory meanings, memories, past influences, nostalgias, faded images. Yeah. So, you know, past influences is what I'm really getting here. Okay. Um, any past influences on your money and career, um, those are the opportunities that you want to consider. Okay. Now, how these, how these opportunities are going to benefit you is the Ten of Coins. Excellent. Okay. This opportunity is going to bring you lots of stability. Okay. The Ten of Coins is about complete happiness. It's, it's about being stable, having the kind of home and life and family situation that you want. Okay. So these new opportunities that you're going to consider here are going to benefit you by bringing you a lot of stability. Okay. But not just stability, but also abundance. Okay. Abundance in terms of like how you feel about yourself, in terms of feeling stable, abundance in terms of, you know, just having this happy home life that you're very content with. Okay. Um, you know, this guy's like sitting on top of a tiger here with his big wand, feeling obviously very confident and very powerful. Okay. Let me read you what the book has to say about this too. All right. It says, Ten of Coins. Chao Kung Ming is the god of wealth. Astride a black tiger, he defends the people from injustice and helps the poor and those who are, who are kindly. Divinatory meanings, riches, safety, family matters, ancestry, inheritance, home. So yeah, so the benefits that these new opportunities are going to provide to you are, you know, just a sense of wealth. Maybe a sense of wealth to a sense that you're going to be able to provide to those who are, you know, less fortunate, all right? You know, it's like it says, it's going to provide you safety. Um, it's going to pro probably provide you the ability to leave an inheritance to your family, okay? Um, so that's pretty powerful here. Um, and then the outcome for this week, okay, for the second week of May, is the Page of Swords, okay? So you're definitely the outcome by this week is that you're going to be looking for a new truth, okay? You're going to be looking for a new truth in terms of what your career perspectives are, what your money perspectives are, okay? You're going to have this sense of like newness to you, okay? Where you are seeking something that is the best thing for you, okay? And again, you're probably going to be seeking this in past influences that you've had in the past in terms of you know, uh, somebody that you know from your past or somebody that you've worked for or worked with in the past, okay? Those are the opportunities that you really want to keep in the forefront of your mind here when you're thinking about your money and career this week, okay? Um, or, you know, maybe just a business idea too, you know? Maybe I'm also just getting this sense that it could just also be like maybe you have nostalgia about something that you've wanted to do in the past that maybe you just let it go, okay? Maybe that's the opportunity that you could bring up again now. It could be also a, a business uh, idea that you've had in the past that maybe you just let go of that you're still kind of nostalgic about that 
you just let it go. But now would probably be a good opportunity to kind of look at that again, okay? Because it's going to bring you wealth. Um, and towards the end of the week, like I said, you're going to, in this Page of Swords energy, you're going to be out seeking the truth. Perhaps you're going to be looking at these opportunities with a bit more detail, with a bit more scrutiny, okay? Perhaps you're going to be investigating what these new opportunities are about for you, okay? I think that's great. That's a good, um, that's a good uh, weekly reading. Now I'm going to pull a fortune cookie, okay? Spirits, angels, guides, please give us one card as a meaning for this second week of May reading for money and career. Please give us one card for money and career for those that are watching for the second week of May. One card, please, for money and career. One card for money and career for the second week of May. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I really appreciate it all. If you have any thoughts on any other readings that you would find interesting or that you would like me to try out, please let me know. Okay. Spirits, angels, guides, one card, please, for money and career. These little cards are so little that they, uh, sometimes they don't always pop out. We'll go one more time. And then I will split. All right, I'm going to split the deck. One card for money and career. All right, here we go. Communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely, okay? I'm drawn to the six of cups here, okay? You could have a reunion with somebody from your past, okay? Or a rekindling of a friendship from your past that could bring you know, this new um, kind of money and career opportunity to you, okay? That's what I'm really getting here, all right? Let me just also pull a card from the, um, from the music oracle for you guys, okay? Spirits, angels, guides, give us one card for May 2020 on this money and career reading. For the second week of May. One card, please. One card. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Freddie Mercury. A dramatic life is better than being dramatic about life. Extravagance is the wicked stepmother of invention. There's nothing more precious then for ability. All right. Well, um, let me read that to you again. A dramatic life is better than being dramatic about life. Extravagance is the wicked stepmother of invention. There's nothing more precious than for ability. All right. For all the Freddie Mercury fans out there, that's the message. All right. So, um, that's your reading for the second week of May 2020 for this money and career. If it resonated for you, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.